Hello, you guys. Welcome to day number 11 of our shadow work challenge, our 30 day shadow work challenge here on Esoteric Atlanta. Yesterday was your third of the way in. I was about to say your quarter of the way in. No, no, no. You're a third of the way in. So you've completed 10 days out of the 30 days. That should be a pretty awesome feeling. And I'm so, 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 so proud of you guys because as I keep saying, this this isn't easy. None of this is easy. Something happened yesterday that I kind of expected to happen. And let's talk about it a little bit. I did make a post on my community tab about it. But yesterday, as I said in our video yesterday, we're coming up into a place where we're going to start to go deeper within your emotions. You've been exercising and understanding your body through exercise for two weeks now and you're starting to understand that the pain is real and that the pain is necessary and so as we dig into this challenge even more we're going to be covering some harder topics so yesterday you had the exercise um, is there an old friend or family member you've lost touch with if so send them a simple text or email telling them that you're thinking about them you hope they're well and you love them Please note, you can do this for multiple people. Well, I want you guys to notice in this challenge, I didn't say to message or email someone that you have had a falling out with or that you have had a toxic relationship with or that you think you have betrayed you. I said an old friend or family member you just simply lost touch with. And I noticed that a lot of people immediately went to stressing out about texting someone that was mean to them or they had issues with and i knew that was going to happen i knew that was going to happen because i know how the human mind works and so i ended up actually putting a post on a community tab because i wanted you guys to not put yourself into a dangerous situation i don't want you if there's somebody that you has been terrible to you who has hurt you who has betrayed you all that kind of stuff and you've removed them from your life I'm not telling you to bring them back into your life, okay? I just wanted you to reach someone, reach out to someone you simply just, someone that's not toxic, you just lost touch with them. That's who I wanted you to reach out to. And that is why today on Friday, November 11th, you have a deeper journaling. So how did you feel when you messaged your old friend and family member yesterday? Did they respond? If there was a conversation, how did it go? Were there old feelings that came up? And this is why I ask here now, are there any friends or family members in your life that you fear may be toxic? If so, why? What are those toxic relationships teaching you? Are you good at sounding, setting boundaries or is this something you struggle with? Are you toxic to yourself at times? So I know for me personally, I have struggled to set boundaries and it's taken me a long time and I'm still struggling with it from time to time to really set hardcore boundaries with toxic people, especially if you're dealing with people who have narcissism or any type of, 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 uh, very dangerous personality disorder um you can't someone with narcissism unless the person with narcissism is willing to change themselves there is absolutely nothing you can do to change them and so for a lot of people who've gone through narcissistic abuse you know you have to remove those people from your lives now what tends to happen if you are an empathetic person if you are a good person is you will always carry a burden like some guilt like you did something wrong and narcissists are really good at doing that about gaslighting you making you feel like you're the bad person and so i wanted to see if any of that would come up because again up here i didn't I didn't tell you to message someone that you have removed from your life or had been a mean to you or I just said someone you lost touch with. But I wanted to trigger that to see if there was some type of like of, 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 of a burden you were carrying dealing with other relationships. And I wanted you to see that by trying potentially struggling with reaching out to a person who had hurt you, were you being toxic towards yourself? So that's why I ask, are you toxic to yourself at times? If so, how? What are some of the tox toxic things or self-sabotaging things you do that you can change? Are you recognizing an unhealthy patterns in your life? Are you feeling empowered to create new, healthier patterns? Name one unhealthy pattern, self-sabotage behavior you have. Name one thing you can do to heal the unhealthy pattern. What emotions come up with exploring these topics? Okay, and so I really wanted to, to make that very, very clear. And so if you were one of these people that was like, oh shit, I have to reach out to someone that I'm uncomfortable reaching out to, 
why were you trying to punish yourself, right? When in reality, you could have literally messaged an old friend from high school in, on Facebook and just said, hey, how you doing? Hadn't seen you in 20 years. How's life going for you? Just thought I'd say, hey, you know, uh, not somebody that's going to be aggressive or mean or, or, or mentally abusive to you. But it's interesting that that came up for a lot of people because I know a lot of people doing this are empathic. And so I wanted you to kind of observe that today. Why, why did you think you needed to put yourself in a position with someone who has already proven to you that they are harmful to you? That's something for you to ask yourself. When there are other people that you could have messaged that are not harmful to you, you just simply lost touch with them. Self-exploration is what we're doing. Your exercise today was either the 20-minute beginner Ashtanga yoga with Ashtanga nurse or the guided half primary. Of course, you had to make your bed up today and your last meal should be between 5 and 7 p.m. Once again, you had the choice between sound bowl healing and all meditation. So pick the one, as always, that is the most triggering for you. Have your food journal. And tonight, again, you have your oil bath coming if you would like to do the oil bath. Totally up to you. I do have a link here where I go into deeper detail about the oil bath. It's not an actual bath. Once again, you're just rubbing the oil on the skin and letting it pull out inflammation and toxins in the fascia. Okay? Now, tomorrow is your rest day again. So it's self-study Saturday. If you can sleep in a little bit, especially if you've been feeling a little extra tired. I know people, you're in two weeks now. And so your body is really in this, this stage, your mind and your body is really in this stage of metamorphosis and transformation. And so you're going to be feeling things like extra tired or maybe you're getting a low-grade fever or you've got congestion. Things might be coming up for you that don't feel so great. And just just keep going. Just ride through it because it will pass. Um, so if you can sleep in an extra hour, please do so or two so that your body can really take that time to rebuild itself. Now, self-study Saturday is the chakra system. We're going to last Saturday was the dosha system. Now we're going to be looking at the seven chakras. So I want you to look up all seven chakras. What are their Sanskrit names and colors? So their Sanskrit names are super important and their colors. What is each chakra responsible for? Take notes on where you think you might have issues in your chakras. Now, tomorrow you have a 60 minute chakra meditation now normally we don't go over 15 minutes but for this what i want you to do because this is kind of like a sound bowl type of meditation i want you to stretch out on the floor or sit with your back against the wall and just listen just listen to the different sounds that are going to hit on the different chakras the different vibrations of the different chakras okay now for more information on chakras you can read you can get the book uh eastern body western mind or you can follow along with stephanie on her channel as she reads through this book eastern body western mind is an incredible book where she goes over the chakras in detail i'll put a link to it down in the description box below you're gonna food journal again and journal for saturday now that you're two weeks in what unexpected emotions good or bad have come up for you how was yesterday's deeper journaling on self-sabotage affecting you today you're gonna have a bit of an emotional hangover as you go through this some of these these things we're exploring these topics that we're trying to heal are gonna take time and so having that emotional hangover, don't try to quickly run. As I said yesterday, when it's uncomfortable, what would happen if you just stayed? Just stay with it. Allow those feelings to come up. Allow yourself to feel like shit for a while, right? So that you can exercise that feeling to eventually your body will release it. All right. So um, how is yesterday's deep journal self-sabotage affecting you today? Were there any realizations about yourself that arose? Can you observe these things instead of attached to them? Can you apologize to yourself? What are five things you've done to yourself in your life that hurt you? Can you sincerely apologize to yourself? What emotions come up while doing this? Can you relate a chakra imbalance to any toxic patterning? Can you expand upon the chakra system? Is this information new to you? Does the information on the chakra system challenge any beliefs or programming you have um, you have, you have held, I'm going to put held there. That's a typo, guys. Okay, so let's read that again. Does the information on the chakra system challenge any beliefs or programming you have held about yourself or the world? What is the most powerful thing you learned today regarding the chakra system? List five things you like about yourself. List five things you are grateful for today. And once again, you're going to be going to bed before 10. And then tomorrow we'll get into Sunday's uh, Sunday fun day. So yeah, so kind of two heavy days here, guys. Starting last night, yesterday was kind of your kickoff 
with that one little text you had to send so that that one little text or email or message you sent to a long lost friend was a kickoff for the deeper work we're doing today and tomorrow with the chakra system. And so I hope that makes sense. Once again, I know that um, a lot of people are doing incredible work in our signal uh, support group. I'll put that link down in the description box below too, so that you could join the signal support group if you would like to. A lot of really interesting conversations happening, realizations happening. Even though this journey that you're going on is one of solidarity where you are completely alone in your own journey, it always helps to hear what other people have gone through too, so that you know you aren't alone, that this is normal, that the destruction that you're feeling within yourself and the pain that comes with that is completely normal and necessary in a practice of self-healing, okay? And so I appreciate you guys so much for sticking with it and, and being each other's cheerleaders through this because it's not easy. And I, and I keep telling you guys, like I've been doing this for 16 years. It never ends. You're always going through the samskaric loops of suffering. You're going to go through the dark night of the soul and then you're going to be great for a while. And then you're going to go back into the dark night of the soul. You're constantly in this tug of war with your own self. It's never done. It's done when you die, basically. So as long as you're in a human body, you're constantly challenging that ego. You're challenging that programming. You're challenging all these patterns of thought that aren't real, but you've made real. And if these patterns are thought, then what uh, aren't real, then what is real? Well, the only thing that's real is your soul. Yeah. And the, 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 the purpose of the, the soul creating the body, being the, sh the body being the shakti of the soul is so that the soul will know itself. And sometimes we learn the best when we fuck up. And so that's why pain is necessary. That's why the suffering is necessary, especially in a planet that deals with polarity. As Shanti says, you came here to earth to learn what you are not. I mean, I'm going to be very vulnerable with you guys right now. Something I'm really having to work through right now my channel is so heavily shadow banned. It's so unbelievably shadow banned. And that it I, it upsets me. Of course it does because I, I work 16 hours, 17 hours, sometimes a day on this channel, whether it's doing prepping the shadow work or researching or editing or, you know, it's, I put my heart and soul into this channel and I love what I do. And, and I would do it regardless because it is my passion i can't not do this this is my passion but it does upset me when i get shadow banned for trying to help people and i had a long conversation with katherine edwards off camera yesterday and we were talking about it and a lot of what's being shadow banned is simply because we are talking about homeopathic remedies point blank they don't want people to know this stuff this is dangerous for the controllers don't kid yourself we're still in a fight with the controllers. This this war is still going on. Yeah, still here. So um, I'm really struggling with that. Like it does get me down when I see that I'm so shadow banned. Um, but with that being said, there are 500 people around the globe that are doing this work. And we have almost 200 people, if not over 200 people now in our support group and signal. That's huge. That's huge. And I thank you guys so much. I was telling somebody last night that who was thanking me for being there for you guys, but you guys have been there for me as well. And the more you share these videos, the more you leave positive comments, it, it reminds me that against all odds, we're still pushing forward. And I will continue. They could shadow ban my channel so much to the point where I only get one view a bit of video. And as long as that I'm helping that one person, I'll keep doing it. I'll keep pushing forward. Because in this world, it's not about the quantity. It's always about the quality. And I have some pretty quality subscribers on this channel. I hate even calling you guys subscribers. You're not subscribers. That's so impersonal. Friends. A community here on esoteric atlanta and and it it's it's amazing just seeing how much you guys have supported me how much you guys support each other and that is the world that i'm hoping we walk into and the more you do heal yourself the more you will feel that compassion for someone else as i said in a video once either, it was either with emmy or stephanie where i was saying that one of the hardest parts about being a mysore teacher off camera is having to be tough because that friend in me, that human in me, when the student's on their mat crying, wants to sit down with that person and cry with them. But I know I have to be tough 
so that they will actually get up and keep going to show themselves how strong they really are. And I appreciate you guys so, so, so much. You have no idea how much you guys mean to me. I, I just am so blessed to have this platform. And it's because of you that I have this platform with all the shadow ban go banning going on, with the spell casting, go everything under the sun that's been going on. Yes, the trolls are back. Thank you guys for pointing that out. It's kind of comical. I do know that the tr most of the trolls are bots from what they call a troll farm. So there is a truther out there that paid for a troll farm to send accounts to attack me, to try to get me to either remove myself from the earth plane or to just get me off of YouTube. And it's not going to work. I actually started laughing when I found out it was a troll farm. I, I actually started thought, I thought, how pathetic is that? How pathetic is that? I also learned that this truther um, doesn't have as many subscribers as she claims to have. Um, she bought most of her subscribers and she bought most of her views. How do I know that? I didn't know that until I was recently in Florida and was told this. When someone has over 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, they get a check by their name, like a little round check mark by their name. And it might take a few months to get the check mark, but it typically comes in when it's real subscribers. If someone has over 100,000 subscribers and there is no check by their name, then those subscribers are bought and paid for. They're not real. They're bots. And with that being said, that's not something I'm ever going to do because in my opinion, that's very low integrity. It's, if my video only gets 300 views, it only gets 300 views, it's still staying up. It's the quality, not the quantity that counts. And so um, don't be fooled by numbers. I guess I should say, even though I have a hard time with emotionally with the shadow banning, numbers don't mean a whole lot on these platforms. And I thank you guys so much for really sticking by me and sticking by yourselves and with each other as we push forward through all of the illusions, through all the hoaxes, through all the lies, through everything to create a better tomorrow. And that's the one thing about shadow work is the more you do shadow work, you start to see the truth through the illusion. You start to see your own truth through the illusion that you've created about yourself. Meaning that when you see your own truth, you can then see the truth of the world. Your gut instinct gets stronger. Your intuition gets stronger. All these things get stronger because you're not bound by the bondage of the, of the third density of the of the hologram you're not bound by that bondage and, and you start to learn too that even though things have been done to you you've put that bondage on yourself and when you realize that you're the one that put the bondage on yourself you can quickly just remove the bondage and be free of it and i think you guys are finding that and i am just again i'm just so 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 incredibly proud of each and every single one of you uh once again stephanie is offering a 25 percent discount for those who are in the shadow work challenge but you have to be in the signal group and you have to message her through the signal group to get that discount for a reading if you need some help or some guidance through this process um yeah so anyway, guys, and as always, if you have any questions, please ask me down in the comment section below and I will be more than happy to answer them. I did get a question yesterday in the comment section regarding Ashtanga Nurses Guided Half Primary Series. Um, once again, with the Ashtanga practice with traditional yoga, Ashtanga nurse, nor myself, nor any uh, a traditional yoga teacher is choreographing our own classes. We're taking the series from the Yoga Karanta, which is first you do the primary series. So this is not his practice. This is, nor is it my practice. This is a practice that's been around for thousands of years. And with Ashtanga nurse, he goes pretty quickly because it's more set up like a demonstration, right? Where he's showing you the half primary series. Now, a few weeks ago, I did a more broken down half primary series where I was teaching Stephanie and Emmy and I actually slow it down and I show you modifications to do. So I will link that in the description box as well. If you would rather do my half primary series versus Ashtanga nurse's half primary series, absolutely, totally fine. The only reason why I put Ashtanga nurse and the challenges because I really like him a lot. He's a colleague of mine. He's a peer of mine. He's a great guy and he really understands the philosophy of yoga. If you watch some of his other videos, he really understands what we're doing on the yoga mat. And so I wanted to promote his channel. I wanted to promote his, his teachings because we all are just walking each other home. And so I wanted to give him that platform to, um, so his teachings got out there. So anyway, guys, um, with that being said, again, any more questions you have, please ask me down in the comment section below. Good luck today with your journaling. I hope that some of you guys had some epiphanies about your own 
baggage within old toxic relationships that you've had. And I really hope that you did choose to message a person that you've simply just lost touch with and not a person that's going to hurt you or pull you back into some type toxic cycle again, but someone that you simply have just lost touch with. And I'm sure that person that you did text or you did message, I'm sure it meant a lot to them to hear from you. Oh, one thing else I forgot to mention. People were talking yesterday about why I'm having people look at you in the why I'm having you look people the in the eyes, smile at them. That's because the eyes are the windows to the soul. And that's all any of us are are just souls. And I learned back when these were really big and I would go to the grocery store and I would be like the only person without one on, I made it a challenge for myself to look people in the eyes with these on and smile at them. And it changed everything. You would see the aggression in them because I didn't have one of these on, but the minute I just smiled at them, their aggression went away. And so that kind of shows you that the aggression we carry that or the aggression that anybody carries and they project onto someone else, it has nothing to do with the person they're projecting that onto, but it has more to do with themselves. And when you just smile at someone, they relax. And so not only is it benefiting you to see how powerful you are with your energy, but it's going to help that person as well. So I'm so happy you guys are doing this. And, um, and yeah, let me know how you're doing. And I will talk to you soon. Bye, guys.